Hey guys, welcome back to AK Academy. So in this particular video, we are going to talk one very important name reaction that is Bakewan rearrangement, right? Bakewan rearrangement reaction. In this particular video, we will discuss about everything regarding this Bakewan rearrangement reaction and also along with it, we will discuss two previous questions of IIT Jam. And this reaction is very important for you. So now let's begin with the topic. What what is this Bachmann rearrangement? So this is basically an acid induced rearrangement of the oxime oxime to amide. Now more precisely, in oxime we have keto oxime, right? And this get converted into what? N substituted amide. We have N substituted amide. For example, let us say if we have one oxime like this, here we have N, here we have this OH, here we have R and here again we have another R. Let us say we have this R dash, right. So in presence of acid, as I told you, this is an acid induced rearrangement. So in presence of acid, right, and what will happen? This will get converted into something different and the product will be like this one C double bond O here we will have N and here we will have R like this right now the question is which R will be over here either R dash will be over here or this R will be over here so now R dash will be over here and we will see how this R dash come at this place and how the reaction mechanism proceeds so now let us begin with the topic now let us see mechanism how actually this reaction proceeds. So first of all, we have this R and here we had this R dash, here we had this double bond, right, N and here we had this OH. Once H plus comes, so what happens? Usually whenever you will see H plus and here we have this OH, right, so this will get protonated. Once this will get protonated, so we will have something like this, here we will have this R dash, here double bond here we will have this N and here we will have this OH2 plus. So now whenever you will see this OH2 plus, so the thing is this OH2 plus usually this get removed, right? So if this OH2 will get removed, so here the valency of this nitrogen will be disbalanced actually, right? So in this case, either this R or this R dash, any of one needs to migrate from its position to this N position. Now because this R dash is anti periplanar to this group, right? So this R dash is anti periplanar. So this R dash will migrate over here, right? So this R dash will migrate over here and this OH2 will be removed. So here we will have R, C, here carbocation will be formed, right? Here double bond and here we will have R dash like this. Now once we will have this carbocation, so after formation of this carbocation, this need to be get balanced. So we had this OH2, right, water. So once we have this OH2, so what will happen? So this will definitely come over here and here we will have R, here C, double bond N and here we will have this R dash and here we will have this OH over here. So once we will have this OH over here, now what can happen? So if we will have this OH, so this will get converted into this one. By tautomerism, you can say this H will come over here and this will become, here we will have R, here C, here double bond O, here single bond NH and here we will have this R dash like this. So this is the final compound so which will be formed. Instead of this H plus, also it has been seen sometimes that if we use this, uh, if we use tocyl chloride, right, TSCl, this also promotes this reaction. Also, if we use PCl5, this also promotes this reaction, right. And apart from this TSCl and PCl5, we have phosphorus pentachloride, right, phosphorus pentoxide, this is phosphorus pentachloride and phosphorus pentoxide is also promote this reaction, right. So this is an acid induced reaction of a ketoxime, right, or you can say oxime into the amides. 
So I hope you understood how the actually this rearrangement reaction takes place and this is very important for you, right. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss something more about this reaction. So now let us see wh what are we, we are going to discuss little more about it. First of all, in this case, in this Backman rearrangement case, suppose if we have one cyclic ring, and then in that case, what will be the product? For example, let us say if we have this cyclic ring, right, this six membered or five membered, let us take five membered ring, right, because formation of six membered ring will be more stable. So, here we have this double bond N and here we have this OH. Then in this case, what will be the product? And suppose if we have this NOH, right, as I told you, if we have this NOH and here we had this R and here we had this R dash, if we have these two groups, then suppose if one group is, this one group is electron withdrawing group, right, and this is electron donating group. So, in that case, what will be the major product, what will be the minor product? So, these all things we are going to discuss. But we will discuss if these all things using the examples, using the previous questions which was asked in your exam, right? So, we will discuss these two important things, how the product formation will lead to into the cyclic compounds and also we will see actually what kind of intermediate will be more stable, right? And what will be the major product and the minor product. So, these all things we are going to discuss. So, keep watching this video. So, now let us solve first question which is this one. This was asked in Jam 2008, right? So, we have this question and so now let us see how this, this will take place. What will be the product? So, first of all, we have this one phenyl group over here and this is connected with this OME, right? And we also have this phenyl group and this is not connected with any other group. So, for example, if we have this N over here, right, if we have this N over here, if suppose if I say, if I have this benzene ring over here and if I say here the benzene ring is connected with this, here it is connected with CH3, right, and if suppose if I have, now let me connect with this one, right, if I have this one, something like this and here the benzene ring is connected with electron withdrawing group, let us say we have NO2 at this position and here we have this one phenyl ring. So, now the question is, if I ask you if this is leading to Bachmann rearrangement, so which reaction will be faster one? So, as, as we saw in the reaction mechanism, the formation of carbocation will take place on this carbon and this carbon. So, here what you can see, here we have electron withdrawing group EWG and here we have electron donating group, right? So, if we have this electron withdrawing group and if we have this electron donating group, so the formation of carbocation already takes place. So, in this case, electron donating group will make more stable to this carbocation. So, here the rate of reaction will be faster in this case. So, this will be the faster one as compared to this one. This will be the slower one as compared to this one, right? We are talking about the relative rates of these two reactions. Got it? So, now let us solve this one and let us see what will happen in this case. So, first of all, let us see what will happen. So, we have this H plus and this OH, right? So, this OH will attack on this H plus and this will lead to formation of something like this. So, here we will have this, here we have this OH2 plus, right? And here we have, we will have this phenyl. I am writing it as pH and here it is like this. Here we have this OME, right? So, after this step, what will happen? This OH2 needs to remove and this, because this is anti periplanar, right? So, this will migrate on this nitrogen and this will come to this position. And after this, what will happen? Here we will have, here we will have pH and here formation of carbocation like this. And here we will have this OME at this position, right? So, this will migrate over here. So, here we will have this phenyl group connected with this OME like this and after this what will happen? After this H2O as I told you, right? So, in the H2O, so this will form definitely like this. Here we will have this N and here we will have this benzene ring itself and here OME and PH and here OH. After the tautomerism, right? After tautomerism, what will be the product? After tautomerism, the product will be 
here we will have C, here double bond O, here single bond NH and so this will be connected with this one, here we will have this OME and here this will be connected with this phenyl ring, right. So, this will be the major product. So, this will be the answer in this case, right. So, I hope you understood. Now, in the next video, sorry, in this video, we are going to discuss one more problem and let us see how you can solve that one. That problem is also from the IIT Jam, right. So, now let us see how we can solve this one. So, here we have this one and we have this NH2, OH and HCl. As I told you in the previous video, so, so many times you will see you cannot directly say that in this reaction, this kind, this is this reaction or that reaction, whatever that. So, you should know actually how we prepare the substrate. So, here this is the example in which we can discuss actually how we prepare the substrates. If we have this double bond O over here, this is what, this is a carbonyl compound, right. This is 2 methyl cyclopentanone, right. So, this is the carbonyl compound, but here we need oxine. So, where we, it has been given, we have this NH2OH. So, after this reaction, what will happen? We will be have having something like this here N and here we will have this OH, H2 of this and O of this will be removed as water, right. So, we will have this one and after this you can see we have been given H plus means H2SO4, right. So, here now it is very easy to predict the product right now as you can see because now you can say directly that it is what? It is Backman rearrangement. Now, here we have this CH3 group right and here we also have this CH3 group, but here we have two kind of possibility just see because this OH can be this side or this OH can be that side as well, here this OH can be, uh, let me write it over here because you cannot see it, so this can be over here as well OH and here we have this CH3. And here in this case, uh, let me write it over just next to it. And so, th in this case, we will have something like this, double bond N and here at this side OH and here we have this CH3, right. As you can see, because here we have OH, here we have CH3 and here we have OH and here we have CH3. So, in this case, there is repulsion, right. So, because of repulsion, it is very unstable. We can say this will be minor one. So, this is what minor product and this will be the major product. In the question, it was asked which will be the major product. So, we we need to proceed the reaction by using this one, right. So, we are not going to do for this one. So, we are not going for this step actually. So, now in this case, we have this H plus. So, here it will become OH2 plus, right. And here it will be something like this. Here we will have this CH3 over here. Now, it will be removed, right. So, this group, this which I am marking with this red one, right. So, this will migrate over here. So, now once it will migrate to this end, so this phi membered ring will expand actually. So, this phi membered ring will expand and it will become a 6 membered ring. So, now let us see how, how actually it can become, sorry not even 6 membered, but it will become 7 membered ring because already phi is over here and here we will have 6, sorry 6 membered ring. Now, let us see how, yeah, how it will become, whatever it will be we should go always go with by the mechanism only right. So, once it will migrate over here, so it will become N and here we will have this CH3 over here right and let us number this 1, 2, 3, 4 and this 5 right. So, this is what 1 and here we have 2, here we have 3 and here we have this 4 and here we have this 5 and here we have this 6 1 right this N as a 6 1. But Please see, because this is migrating from this position to this position at the fifth carbon, it will have what positive charge because fifth carbon was doubly bonded with this nitrogen. So, here it will have positive charge, right. So, after this what will happen? After this, we treat it by OH2, right. So, we have this OH2 or what? Uh, so, it will become, so it will become N and here we will have double bond, sorry not double bond, let us first of all write OH. So, we will have this OH 
and we will have something like this and here we will have this CH3 like this only and here double bond right after the tautomerization after the tautomerization so we will have product like this here we will have this double bond O over here right so we will have this double bond O over here and here we will have this CH3 and everywhere he, sorry here it will have we have a H right so this will be the major product formed in this reaction I hope you understood all about the Backman rearrangement right so it's a very easy to understand what happens in the Backman rearrangement and it is very important for your IIT exam as well as CSIR or GATE exam so we already solved the two previous questions and we also understood all about the Backman rearrangement right so thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video we will discuss about any other name reaction